Hi everyone, this is David from Southside Detail. Today we're going to go over how to remove some staining from your cloth seats. Alright, let's take a look at the stains that we're working with today. Okay, so this is the interior itself. It's a lighter color cloth interior. It's on a 2014 Honda Civic. While even uh, explaining, you guys can already see yourself how the staining is. So yeah, it's all over the bottom part and then the back. These look like some cigarette burns. Obviously, we can't fix that. Or at least not in this video itself. So I asked the owner, we you know what, what causes stains. I usually like to ask that because there's different uh, cleaners that you can use for whatever might have stained the seats. In this case, it looked like it might have been some food stains or just overall regular you know, dirt or soiling. Not only is it on uh, front seats, you know, it's... It's all over the car itself. So we got some on the back seats as well. Looks like similar uh, stains. And take in mind, this owner does have kids regularly in the car. Okay, so these are some of the supplies that you'll want to use for going after uh, stains in your seats. You don't have to do the exact same thing, but these do help. Like this drill, with this drill brush attachment, it makes it a lot easier than using a brush itself and doing it by hand. You'll want to use some type of all-purpose cleaner designed for a carpet or upholstery. I, I use McGuire's D101 and on this electronic sprayer from Car Supplies Warehouse. I'll put in a link below uh, where I got all my stuff at so you guys can use that if you want to do it on your own. I may follow up a P&S carpet bomber. I just got it in you know, this random clear bottle. It's self-diluted. And then after that, after all the cleaning and scrubbing with the drill brush, you want to wipe it up. You don't want to use any microfiber towel. These are specifically for the interior. You'll see me use that as well. And then after we use the drill brush, we use our chemicals, we'll follow up with a carpet extractor, a heated carpet extractor. This is Mighty Light, so you'll see me use this as well. And then this is what you'll get in our complete interior detail package. So if you do end up getting a complete interior detail, this is how we're going to shampoo your seats and carpet. All right, so I already got the seat pre-treated with some shampoo, the all-purpose cleaner, but I'm going to go ahead and spray it again for you guys. And we're going to do the whole seat here. So we'll start with the bottom itself. Go ahead and spray it down pretty liberally here because we do got a lot of staining. All right, then we'll grab our drill brush. You can start really anywhere. And you start to see it foam up really well. After the drill brush and the shampoo, we'll go ahead and mop up any of the dirt that may have came up to the surface so we can remove the staining itself on the seat. So you'll still see it foam up like this. We're going to wipe down as much as we can by hand with uh, microfiber. You can switch tiles, move to a dry one. This is just to remove any of the staining or soiling that may have came to the surface with the agitation with the drill brush. So I'm going to follow the same process on the uh, top portion of the seat. And then you'll see me follow up with the carpet extractor. So at the bottom of the seat itself, it looks like there's some stuck on gum. Who knows how long it's been there. For that, you can keep trying to use your drill brush or with the cloth. You can keep wiping. But a faster approach would be using a steamer. So I'm going to show you right now how to melt away that gum, heat it up, get it soft again. So you can actually just remove it with a towel. It makes it a lot easier. Same thing goes for like chocolate or um, any candy that might have set in on a carpet. Uh, steam will help um, warm it up. And again, you'll be able to wipe it off easier with microfiber cloth. So I'm going to show you that right now. So this is our McCulloch steamer that we'll be using to remove the gum stains that I'll be showing you right now. So this is the handle and the actual steam steamer itself. And this is the gum that we'll need to heat, heat up. So it can actually get a little more pliable. So I can just wipe it away with a microfiber cloth. So here we go. Go ahead and spray the gum itself. You'll start to see it loosen up. That's a good thing. So let's give it a shot and see if we can just wipe it away. There you go, look at that. 
It's all sticky and starting to warm up. Definitely it was gum itself. Got a little more uh, residue left. So things you just spray with the steamer. Steamer makes a lot, life a lot easier with things like this. Again, this is what you would get in our complete interior detail package. So if you got really soil seats or older interior or whatever the case is, this is included to shampooing. Looks like we got another spot over here. Let me get that with the steamer. But that original one, um, gum where we're trying to uh, remove, is gone. Spray it a little right here. See if we can wipe that away. And there it is. So that's gone. Steamer makes things a lot easier. Now we got our carpet extractor ready to go. The seats are already looking cleaner. Some of the stains have remained. But with the carpet extractor, we usually remove most of, if not all the stains. When you're using the extractor, you want to hold on to the trigger and release the shampoo itself in the seat. You can do it a couple times. And as you see, as I go back, the extractor is actually sucking up a lot of the shampoo and the dirt that follows. You don't got to be afraid as far as how much you use. Because this is a good job of vacuuming all the shampoo. And I'll follow up with that and you'll see it. And after, I'll also wipe it down with a microfiber towel. But right now, I'm just adding more shampoo to the seat. We're going to have to go after a lot of those stains that we saw. Now we'll just follow up with a dry vacuum and let it pull all that dirt and gunk, food, wherever that was out of the seat. And I'm going to follow up the rest of the seat, like down in this part itself. You always want to double check your work. But this gives you a good idea of how the shampoo and seat process is done. There's other methods, but this is how I do it. You got your seats clean. But already you can see a pretty big difference from what it was before. We got those things in the back seat. I'll be doing the same process for the rest of this interior. So after you're done with the carpet extractor and you vacuum up all the water, the seats are already looking a lot cleaner from the beginning. You just want to uh, wipe down and mop off the remaining water or residue on the seat. Just like that, give it a good wipe down. Because whatever the vacuum didn't pick up, this microfiber cloth will do a good job of mopping up any residual dirt. We'll do the same thing with the top. You can switch towels if you want. But that looks pretty good. Definitely a lot better. Again, here is the final product. Now you just let it dry. It just takes a few hours. The seat might be a little damp, but nothing to worry about. You could also use dry pods, put on the seat to speed up the drying process. This looks a lot better from the beginning. Give you guys a close up. Yep, a lot better. And here's the back seat. If you guys are wondering how it came out, just after the same process, with the drill brush and extractor. See the stains are removed from the back seat, including the other side. So big difference. Alright, so let me know if the video was useful or helpful to you, how to shampoo your own interior at home. As you can see, you just got to use those three products. Uh, you don't have to have an extractor, but it does help. I'll leave a link in the description box of all the products I did use and how to do that. Again, if you get our complete interior detail 
uh, you'll get this shampooing done to your seats and interior to get any heavy soiling or uh, staining in your seats. Uh, again, I'll leave a link in the description box of all the products I use so you can try it out uh, at home yourself. Thank you.